So today on my video blog, we're going to be unboxing the Corsair HX650 watt professional series power supply. So compared to their older HX620, this is actually the replacement unit. So let's start getting this thing open. So besides the extra 30 watts, the other main benefit of this over the 620 watt version is actually that it comes with a longer warranty. So the 620 had a five year warranty and this one comes with a seven year warranty. Corsair's warranty service is excellent. I've actually got uh, an HX620 of my own, although knock on wood, I've never actually had to RMA it. Uh, anyway, so inside we're gonna find the user's manual right on the top, comes in a bunch of different languages, very, very dry reading. Then inside we will find a Powered by Corsair sticker along with some black zip ties for managing your cables. We're gonna find a power cord. Then, uh, if I could just hold on to things, that would work a lot better. Four black screws for mounting the power supply in your case. And then let's have a look at the modular cable package. So it comes in a little Corsair baggie that's uh, sealed by Velcro so you can store things in it and open it and close it as you please. So here we go, modular cables. It uses the same connector as the old HX620, so you got your little five pin there. So we've got one, uh, two, three SATA cables. Then we have two six plus two pin PCI Express cables that are modular. And then we have, oh wow, another two six plus two PCI Express. That's uh, a lot more than used to come on the HX620. And then we've only got two Molex connectors. So that's actually a good move, I think, on Corsair's part. The old one used to come with, I believe, four. And it's kind of unnecessary these days. So here we're going to find something quite, quite strange indeed. And we will find the pre-attached cable. So you've got a 24 pin cable here. So that's your 20 plus 4 pin. It's actually detachable if you need to attach to a 24 pin motherboard, or a 20 pin, sorry. And then we have a 4 plus 4, so that's an 8 pin EPS connector. Now here, I'm actually a little bit confused here, I have to confess, as to what exactly these cables are. Oh, I see, this is brilliant. So this is actually a Y adapter cable. So you plug in one 6 pin here, just like that, and then it actually splits out into two six plus two pin. So that gives you a total of four six plus two pin or eight pin PCI Express connectors. That's pretty neat actually. And then you can plug in all of the modular cables for SATA and Molex that are included by just plugging them all in here. It's a very clean little interface. Let's have a look at the unit itself. So on the front of it here, we've got a little shiny, uh, you know, this is made by Corsair, don't pretend you made it if you're not Corsair sticker. Then we have the labeling on the side. This is actually quite a small unit compared to uh, many of the high-end power supplies that I've seen in the past. So on the back, there's no 115 or 230 volt uh, switch, so that means that it's got active power factor correction. Then on the other side, we see another label. So if you install, I noticed if you install this in the Corsair Obsidian case, you can perfectly see their label, so you can tell it was designed with that in mind. On the top of the unit, we'll find the specs, so you can see we've got 52 amps on the 12 volt rail. That's going to be one of your most important specs. So you can actually draw 624 watts of the 650 from the 12 volt rail, so it's terrific to see that. On the bottom, we've got a 120 mil fan cooling the unit and if it's anything like Corsair's other power supplies, it'll be extremely quiet. So just as a quick size comparison against just a typical cheapo power supply, you can see it's only a little bit longer than your standard OEM power supply. Just It's about as long as a warranty void if removed sticker is wide. So thank you for checking out my video blog on the Corsair HX650 watt.